Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again today. Uh, hopefully the lighting's not too bad in here. We had to take all the light fixtures down, ceiling vents, things like that, in order to make it where we could sand around them. We're doing popcorn ceiling removal in here. And this is a little bit different. This popcorn ceiling's been painted multiple times since I'm guessing the 70s when it was put on. House is around the 76, I believe. But, uh, we're they want to take it down but not all the way because if we go to a smooth finish a lot of times back when they did popcorn a lot they didn't actually finish the mudding and taping to the level that you need to to have a smooth finish ceiling they do a coat or two of mud if that bed the tape whatever and then just shoot texture over it and call that a one step painted and finished kind of deal so if you take a popcorn ceiling to smooth a lot of times you'll have more work to do. There'll be screw holes that they didn't ever, all they did was strike them once. Uh, there'll be tape start to show up, cracks in the ceiling that have existed for years, that kind of thing. But on a ceiling like this, this had a thick, you can probably see, this has already been sanded to the point they like it here in this room. And I'm gonna show a couple clips of sanding the kitchen, sanding this room, whatnot and maybe a few pictures at the end to illustrate a little bit there'll be some good shots where you can see what it looks like before and after where i've cut paths in the in it with the sander uh, anyway i'm running 40 grit granat today on this on this unit um, and from what i'm seeing for your first initial passes that 40 is really nice and then i switch to an 80 after that to a 120 but there it is there, that's 120. Really, really big sander. You can see, uh, you're talking uh, 225 millimeters, so it's it's right there about eight and seven eighths inches across. And it is huge. Uh, the one thing I will say, first experience is doing this, I'm, I've done about four or five rooms in the last two days with this one sander. Started in a lady's bathroom, knocked it out, it had never been painted. 8 by 10 ceiling, took it to where it looked like we had hung brand new drywall. You could even see the tape joints, everything, and now we just finished that out and it looks amazing. You can't tell it from the drywall that we had just done on the walls. And that was all done with 80 grit. And then I finished with a real light pass of 120, didn't do any damage to the paper. It's all gone, looks factory. Uh, took 30 minutes to do, so that's amazing to me. This house is a full popcorn removal on a 1,600 square foot home. So it's gonna take a minute. It, so far, other than the edging work that has to be done, a room this size, which is around a 12 by 20, is taking me roughly an hour to remove the entire popcorn ceiling. Down, now this is not going smooth. This is going to where the finish after you put flat paint on it is gonna look like knockdown texture, like they do on the new homes now on the walls and everything. That's what this will look like painted. I think it's gonna look amazing compared to all the shadows and dirt and everything you're getting from the popcorn ceiling. But I'm using the Planex Easy and I got this because it actually has the brushless EC Tech motor. There's your taking some abuse today at paper. I've done, I've done four rooms with this one paper, so, and it's still eating it like it did when it started. Um, I've got the Bluetooth set up on here for when I'm using it to clean. This, this unit has a speed one through six right here, so you can speed up the sander. You can't adjust the vac or anything from the unit like you can with the larger Planex, the original version but I thought having the brushless motor probably superseded that, as well as I don't really do ceilings over, this'll, this'll do a 10 foot ceiling, but I don't really do anything over that. So this sander is gonna be perfect for everything I do. Uh, I'm gonna show a couple clips through here and let y'all check it out and see how it works and see it in action. But. I'm running it on the Festool Auto Clean CT36. So far, hasn't stopped a bag up, haven't even really checked it because there's almost nothing coming off this sander head. 
The only things you see are like when you lift it and when you set it, you'll knock off the big pieces of popcorn and they'll fly out the side. So watch your eyes when you first start, things like that. But uh, it's really a non-issue. Floors clean, a, a light vacuuming probably. I don't see anything on the floors in here. So it, it's really, it's really great. Um, customers are impressed on both of these houses. They've gone real quick, smooth, and come out better than they ever expected. So hopefully, everybody loves it. But we're gonna start offering this more and more as a service around where I'm at here. And uh, there's a lot of homes built in this era and they all have this hideous ceiling. And uh, hopefully we can make a dent. I'm running 40 grit granite to start with and it eats the popcorn straight off. If you're not taking it all the way to smooth, that's maybe all I need to do. I'm gonna do a 120 pass back over it tomorrow and see how it comes out. But the way it looks right now, I think it's paint ready for what they want. The, they even shot this texture on the, on the uh, cove molding around the ceiling. So it's a small enough cove, I believe inch and a half, two inch cove. We're going to go back with a big crown and, and just cover it up and it'll be gone. But check the spring angle and it's going to be just fine. So we're going to cover all that up after all the popcorn's gone. That way the crown can rest nice and flat on the ceiling. But uh, anyway, that is this unit. Check it out in action now. I'm gonna go ahead and run a couple clips of it and see what you think. This is fine to do for a couple of rooms, but if I had to sit here and grind out this whole house today, and I could do the whole house in one day, 1,600 square foot, I don't see it being a problem. I did three rooms in three hours, exactly. So there you go, and that was the two lit double living rooms that it has and the kitchen. So probably right at the three biggest rooms in the entire home are done in three hours. Now we have three bedrooms, bathroom, and I've already done one small bathroom. So we did three rooms and the, and the tiny bath. We started there to see how she was gonna like it. Loves it, so there you go. But uh, now we'll just do hallways, bedrooms, the other main bath, and we're done here. So you could do this in a good six to eight hour day. You could do an entire 1600 square foot home down to where it looks like knockdown texture. If you wanna go on smooth after you're done with your 40 and you knock all this stuff off nice and heavy, throw an 80 on there, it'll take it to smooth in about the exact same amount of time. So if you wanna go smooth, you're looking at an entire second day and then probably skim over everything with a 120 at the end to make sure it's perfect. And then it, of course, if you do that, you're gonna to have to go around and touch up anywhere where they didn't properly do their drywall work to begin with. So if you're bidding a job like this, you're looking at a couple of days to get it good and then you're probably looking at a little bit of time to just gonna depend on how much damage there is behind it that they tried to cover up by just hose and texture. So be aware of that. But uh, other than that, I, I think it's an amazing investment. If we do manage to get some jobs that have taller ceilings, I'll get the other Planex. Maybe they'll go ahead and come out with a brushless version of that too. But either way, I'm gonna, I believe the harness fits with this so I'm going to get it if so. It's just 
that holding it, I started sticking it in my belt and holding it, and that worked out okay, but it'd be nice to just have it done properly. That's the strategy I've been using. That's the grits I'm using. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. So far, I have not plugged the back up, haven't been able to get it to slow down. Uh, after I finish a room, I close the blast gate and I kick it to the AC and let it run a cycle through after each room. That may be helping, but I haven't really noticed a loss in suction at all. And it does help hold itself up, but this ceiling's so rough to start with that there's no way it can get enough suction to actually do that. So, for what it's worth, that's what that does. And um, I'll go ahead here at the end of the video and let a few pictures pop up for a few seconds each. So you can check that out. There'll be some links to some other videos of mine, some more reviews and things like that that I do. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see these more often. There should be a subscribe right up here in the corner. You'll see a picture of me with my hearing protection on. Uh, and there'll be a couple video links show up right down here at the bottom of the video. But thanks for being here. We'll catch you all on the next one. Here's this ceiling up here real quick before we flip over to that. There you go. I, I videoed some the other way, and hopefully, I don't know if you can actually see this, but you can see how thick that popcorn is over here, and you can kind of see where we've sanded and where we have not. Anyway, really, really came out nice. But thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget, like and subscribe, and here comes some more footage of work here today.